So use the combination 204 to open the lock and the door, and then head through it. Follow this path wrong by here, search the filing cabinets on the way. At the end of the path is a desk which you can search. So once you've searched that, head back round. Be careful that you don't fall through there. If you fall through there, you will have to go back up the stairs again. So if you go through here, you will find a first aid cabinet on the wall over here. There's a tripwire by, by there, but you don't need to use it because there's no enemies in this area. So head for the shotgun door and you can search the room. There's a baseball bat by there. Head into the room opposite it and to your left you will find a hole in the wall. So you will have to move through here and time it right so you don't get hit by the sliding plates. There's a table lamp on the table over there and a desk you can search. So head into this room, be careful of the broken glass in this room because there's quite a lot. There's a table you can search. And a nightstand, and then over here there is a gear puzzle. If you do it, you will get a scalpel. So head back into this hallway and turn left. Careful of the glass. So now you can go down the stairs, there's a corpse you can search on the way. When you reach the bottom, there's a first aid cabinet which you can search. Right, so when you walk in here, a timer will begin. When the timer expires, the room will fill up with poisonous gas. So quickly take the light bulb from this box. Right, so now you have the first light bulb, you'll have to find the other. But first you're going to have to escape this room. So to do so, you'll have to complete this pipe puzzle. Thankfully, the puzzle, the pipe puzzle, isn't as complicated as the ones in Obi's trap, so it shouldn't give you too much trouble. Right, so there's a tripwire by here. You could use this against the bomb hand victim that appears in a minute. He always respawns in that one spot, so that's good news. Don't forget to search his corpse. Over in this corner. You can find a first aid cabinet, so you search that. So unblock this door by moving the barcade. The door is bolted shut as well, so make sure you unbolt it. So now you'll find yourself back in the elevator shaft. So now you're going to have to head back to the point where you were given the option between two paths. Now you just took the light bulb from the staff housing, so now you're going to have to take the one from the cafeteria. Passing the TV again. Right, so by here a shock and call a victim randomly respawns. He can come he can come from two directions. There's a tripwire by here you can use against him. In my case he comes from there. The other direction he can come from is down there, so watch out for that. Make sure you search his corpse as always. There's a lighter which you can use as a light source on those tables. If you turn right by here, you can search a, another table. Opposite the table is a door you can pick lock. So you can search this room for supplies. There is a first aid cabinet on the left and a mannequin arm on the right. At the end of the room is a gear puzzle. It gives you a gun, so I think it's worth doing. So once you've searched the room and taken what you want, head back outside. Be careful of the tripwire in this doorway. So you're gonna you're gonna have to find the a coupler. So search all the filing cabinets. If the coupler isn't in this room, it will be in this room instead on your left. It's a shocking door, so watch out. So once you're in here, make sure you search everything. So now we're heading to this room. First aid cabinet, but if you want to do it. So now you're gonna have to complete this circuit box to open the gate. So when you've done the circuit puzzle, you can hit this button. 
which will open the gates. So now we'll head back round and go through the gates. On your left on the TVs by here, you will see the combination 038. So you'll have to use that in a combination door a bit later on. So we'll head through this door. Don't bother activating that fuse box that I just passed. Search the lockers, then you can head through this door. There's a pipe on that shelf if you want it. So we're heading into this room and you can search these two lockers as well. Right, if you head over here on your left, these TVs will turn on. You were robbed of your first test. You were found and released before you could answer my question. Do you want to die, Jack? I, I don't! I want to live! And yet, even after escaping me once, you tried to kill yourself again. You did not learn your lesson. It wasn't my death! That, that time was different. This cop, he was harassing me, making me relive it again and again! He wouldn't leave me alone! So once the TV is turned off, head over to the door and insert the combination 038. Oh yeah, and by here I fi yeah I forget the combination, so sorry about that. It takes me a while to remember what it was. Come on! Ah, there you go. Right, so in here there's a tripwire by there, but there's no point in activating it. There's no enemies in this area. Well, it was in this kitchen, but not back there. There's a lighter by there. There's a locked door over here. So you can unlock it a bit later on. Right, so a victim throwing molotovs appears over there. So make sure you take him out. There's a tripwire over here. In the corner of this room there is a valve, so head over to it and rotate it. And you will shut off the steam back behind the counter. Before you head through there, there's a door by here you can pick one. So in here there are two lockers you can search and then there's a work table to create some traps if you want to. So head behind the counter, search the victim's corpse. Sometimes he appears in this room as well so watch out for that. So you can unbolt this door now, there's not really any point. Don't forget to search the locker behind the door, there's a tripwire over here. So before you go through the door on your right, go through this door instead. You'll have to pick locker as you can see here. Inside here is another locker you can search. There's a message in the mirror which you can read if you want to. On the floor there is a water bottle and by there is a preset stun trap which you can pick up. So head through this shotgun door. Your next objective will be to find the key to unlock this door. search that as well. So head through here. There's a shotgun tripwire on the floor by here. You'll be coming out of this door later. So head through this doorway and down the stairs. There's a sewing kit which gives you instant health by there. Right, so the key to unlock that door is in that silo. So it, you'll have to pick up the bricks and hit the button. This will activate the conveyor belt. So now you're going to have to throw the bricks at the pigs. And they will drop into the blades and their blood will fill up the silo. So the key will slowly go to the top. As you can see there. I think it takes about four pigs you got to hit before the key can be reached. So once the silo is filled up, take the key. So now we head back up the stairs. So head into here and you can unlock the door. 